Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a good custom Steam profile by yourself on Adobe After Effects. I won't necessarily be giving you a walkthrough on how to do every step, but I'll be recommending you how to do stuff, alternatives if you don't have the right programs, and well, the theme and how you should take it on. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day. Okay, so I started off by trying to find a good background for my profile theme. I was kind of going for Japanese streetwear art uh, mixed with a green theme because I recently leveled up my Steam profile to 40, so the level color is actually a green like ring. So I went through this Steam guide I found, just googled a random Steam background guide and I opened a link to all the tab and this thing downloaded something. So I decided to delete that before I did anything else so my computer didn't die. Uh, I decided to uh, get all the backgrounds I liked into another tab. And then later on I could go on the Steam Market which I did here for my favourite one. This one was only 80p, it was Destiny. So I decided to sell a couple of my, uh, Ste of my Steam CSGO skins. Uh, and it was only 80p so that's pretty easy. And then it was in my inventory. After that, I had to go into Steam.Design and I had to put my background in there. I had to search for it again because I lost the link. And then once you go in there, you can click download and it will download the uh, two panels in there for you to put into your After Effects. Create a new folder and I drag them in there. Okay guys, now we're starting with the project. I've got this blank template I got uh, off a, another YouTuber which I'll quote in the comments. And I put the two images in there that I got off Steam Design and I started looking for inspiration immediately. I was looking at old Japanese st uh, street races and street racing groups and I kind of looked at the style that they were in, the fonts they were using, the height, the, the text, stuff like that and decided to get to work. Uh, put the squash the text close together which is a very underrated thing uh, and I started to try and play with the text a little bit to make it look similar I decided to put Google Translate in there I played too many video games and I put addict in, and then games in bracket, brackets so no one thinks I'm a drug addict or anything and then I made it stacked so we can make the text a bit bigger and then I aligned it, this took only a little bit of doing, and then I decided to get the two uh, bits of text and I decided to make a pre-comp out of it after I made that an outline. So when that's done, I decided to make a pre-comp and try to do the generate stroke, but that didn't work. So I did create sh shapes from, matter, from text and I tried to do the generate stroke effect and I did. So I made it so the text looks like it draws itself onto the screen over time, which is cool. And then I made a pre-comp out of it and left it as that. Uh, no, I didn't, apparently. I decided to add a, add a wiggle rotation and I had a custom script that I found <laughs> on Google ironically and I pasted them in, uh, put it in a good position, decided to play with it a little bit, changed up the damp damping so it didn't wiggle as much and then just changed the size so it looked like a stable rotation wiggle. I started looking for characters to put on your screen so people have something to look at and I really struggled here because I found one but the quality was really bad on it unfortunately. Uh, so I started to look at the ones that are similar to it in Google, thanks Google, and I decided that the kind of this glitchy effect would be cool. All I would have to do is import it into After Effects, cut out around the character, which you can see me doing here, and then I would have to put it in black and white and change the contrast of it to match, match everything else. Creating uh, a shape out of the character actually wasn't that hard, just took a little bit of time in the pen tool. Uh, it's it's one of the more simple things, but it, you have to have a bit of uh, knowledge on other Adobe programs such as Illustrator and Photoshop in order to know how After Effects works. 
You don't have to, but it really, really does help. And I've had a lot of past experience with Photoshop, so this is relatively easy for me. It's just creating a shape out of a character and drawing around it with a pen tool. I had to keep using the hand to move around, uh, and then I just connected the dots. It was cut out. I tried to cut this bit out, but it didn't work. But in the end, I kind of decided that they're only little shapes. People won't really see it if it isn't cut out. Plus, everything's going to be the same colour. So I decided to shrink it down, put it down there, and I tried to make it black and white, which I did. Tried to put a little bit of tint on it, which I did, and I tried to adjust the exposure to make it a bit darker. But I realised this green tint was a bit too strong, and it needed to wiggle. We had something else to look at. Tried to do it, realised I could copy and paste the effect onto the character from the text so it moves at the same time. Put the character down a bit so you can't see the character bobbing up and down and changed the tint and everything so I was happy with it and there we go. So I decided to go to Google Translate again and put can you even read this but without the question marks people don't know it's a question so if anyone that actually reads Japanese goes to my profile they will see that that means can you even read this and yeah so I needed to make the text wiggle the Japanese text wiggle a little bit and I struggled to do that so I found a YouTube tutorial, that's where there was a cut, and I tried to do it, cocked up completely, I completely forgot how to do it even though I watched the video like a second ago, and then I realised that I need to put a black solid over the whole thing and then do it. It's a pretty simple tutorial, uh, you can go, I'm pretty sure you can see the title of the video here, so if you really want the same effect that you'll see I have here, you can go do that, go find the video it's pretty good effect and it does just add something else on your screen to look at which I think is quite important when you're making a steam profile because not only do you want it to look subtle but at the same time like the effect is subtle because it only wiggles a little bit and that's what matters most so I got the whole thing done looked got it looking good tried to adjust the test text again because I thought the text was a bit too like standing high uh, widen the Japanese text a little bit saying addict games and I uh, just just adjusted the contrast and stuff made the character look like it was blinking a little bit um, it, again it's just then extra details and I tried to add all the stuff to the render queue before realizing I even added an ember effect to anything and the the character was going a bit too bright so I had to change that which was overly complicated for me don't know why and then I decided to uh, have a crack at this. So I found the correct effect to use for the ember effect and this is just, it gets complicated trying to do this because of how much tweaking you have to do for the actual effect and to get it right you have to just play with it for quite a while. There's no specific way I just did this, honestly just played around for a bit, tried to look at all the different uh, effects and what they did. Uh, yeah, I just kind of played with the position, looked at a tutorial because I was confused on what everything did, and then I found a, a good kind of way to do it. The only issue I had was looping it over the three second time that I had for the GIF. Uh, so I decided to just make the opacity go in and out. I was looking at the video again to see how he looped it if he did it any certain way, but he didn't. So I just decided to set the particles to white, make sure everything was good, make sure I wasn't missing anything, played with it a bit more, decided to put it underneath the character, so the character was in front of the ember effect. And then I... Uh, yeah, set the opacity so it would they would come in, introduce himself into the project, and then go out again. And I added it to the render queue, made sure, and I cannot stress this enough, After Effects usually puts itself to 5 seconds automatically. You have to go into your settings and make sure your frame rate is 30 FPS and that your duration is how however long you want it. Uh, I was checking that everything was the right size for the website. Uh, Easygift.com. Oh, this website is a lifesaver, guys. I really cannot stress this enough. Put it to 20 FPS, and the GIF was done uh, quite quick, actually. So I saved it into my folder, went to the next GIF, 
output went down and put it at 25 FPS again so everything was the same FPS and saved it. I decided to double check that they were both under 8 megabytes because that's a max size uh, Steam will allow you to upload a GIF. Decided to upload the GIFs and I put the long artwork code in there. I'll, po I'll paste the code in the description and then yeah this is just very fast but I put everything in, changed the background, decided to refresh my page, realised it wouldn't work on there for a while, so I went on my Steam profile and there you go. Thanks for watching guys, really means a lot. If you do have any questions or need help, go down to the comments and either I or someone else will help you. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you around.